Okay, so in this little video, I'm going to look at this part of the Web Design 101 unit. Um, so the first step is to download jQuery. So when we click on it, we see it on screen, and we can do Command S to save it. And then we're going to save it into the folder with the website in it here. Okay. We want to change the name to get rid of the version just to make it jQuery.js. So that's saved and we can see it in Finder here. The next step is to take the script code and move it into our HTML file anywhere between head and end head. All right. Now the last bit of this is a really tricky bit. I'm going to copy this whole line. It goes off the screen here, but if I highlight from here and drag down, I can copy that whole line. And I'm going to paste this into a new file so that we can look at how it works. This first bit here is HTML. And then inside the HTML, we have some JavaScript. So we can look at it like this. So this is the JavaScript part here. And in JavaScript, this semicolon starts a new line. So actually, what we have here are three different commands in JavaScript. This hash sign means to look for an ID in your HTML. So this is saying, look for the ID called home, which we can find here. And so it's saying, when I click on this thing, find the ID for home, and set the CSS property display to block, which means to make it show on the page. And then it says, find boring stuff, which you've changed to about me. So I'm going to copy that and change that one about me and hide about me and then finally take learning and hide learning so this is the code that we want to have on this link here but the code we want on this link and this link are slightly different because we want to show and hide different things so I'm going to make three copies of this there we go and on this one, we actually, this is going to be our second link. We want to change this to none, because when we click on our second link here, about me, we want to hide home, and we want to display about me. And then on the final one, we want to hide home and about me, and show learning, like that. Okay. What we can do now is wrap these back up so that they're a single line like this, copy that, and so this is our third link, this is our second link, this is our first link. We're going to take the code for the third link and we're going to paste it either in this space here or we're going to make a new space here. Okay, so now we can see the on-click code as part of this link. So I'm going to save that, come back to the site, and let's see if it works. When we click on learning, there we go. About me and home aren't finished yet. That would be wrapping up these two and then moving them into the right place. 